and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're already part of the sprinkle squad i am so happy to see you again and this video is a long time coming <laughs> so since it's actually the beginning of the year i have decided to go through like i actually have like a folder on my computer of just like raw like footage like the slowed down like original version of stuff and i keep it there until i've got all the footage for a house and then i you know make the the final video and basically there are some builds in there that have been there for a while so that included the shell that i posted last week has been there for a while and this is honestly the house House that's been there the longest so this house has actually been in the works since April of last year so it has been there for for quite some time and this is actually something that I started over on stream again in like April <laughs> of last year but I actually made this as like well, is inspired by my mom. So actually, if you are someone who has come to my stream or you've, you know, heard some of my other videos, Mama Spicy is actually my mom. So if you see her in the comments or see her over on stream, that is actually my mom. So be nice to her. But she actually streams with us a lot and all that kind of good stuff. And if you ever want to see her, you can check out like actually some of my shorts or even my VOD channel. I have a lot of those videos over there as well. But I decided that I wanted to build something kind of inspired by Mama Spicy. So I wanted to make something colorful. And I also, like, don't worry, I did include stuff from my dad here as well. <laughs> um, but the main, like, color scheme is of the outside. I just wanted, like, a bunch of color and I wanted it to be really fun. Now, this is not really, like, indicative of what their house actually looks like at all. It's just more of a inspiration, you know what I mean? Like, it really, like, their house is not, like, yellow, which is what it's going to become. It doesn't have purple windows. Like, it doesn't have, like... <laughs> <laughs> the things that are here um, but I will mention like if things are inspired by their home I'll like let you know but this was actually a really fun build to make and I started it and um, she was actually like in the chat when I was making this originally and I kept holding on to it because I was like oh we'll work on it you know when she visits one time and then we just never did work on it so you know I just decided you know I'm gonna finish it I'm going to finish the like mama spicy house and just go ahead and post it because it's been there for so long and I am trying to go through my videos and really like decide do I actually want to finish these builds because I have a few or do I just want to like scrap them and say nah I don't really want <laughs> I don't want to go back to those like I have like I think three more three more builds that are like just floating in that folder and I guess we'll see if I actually end up finishing those. I'm sure I'll mention it if it is a house that I've been working on for a while but I had so much fun making this. It's super colorful. I actually ended up putting a ton of like flowers and everything and it's super lush. I'm actually really happy with the exterior and I actually added like this like garden like greenhouse out here and I think this is actually prior to no this wasn't prior to this must have been maybe like right when we got actually the garden the greenhouse like haven kit actually that may have been some of the inspiration here because my parents actually retired about a year ago and my dad has since taken up some kind of like gardening here and there so I thought it'd be nice to actually make like a little greenhouse and like so that's like inspired they don't really have a greenhouse <laughs> but you know it's the sims and I can do whatever I want to and they can have whatever they want so I actually ended up putting that there and I just thought it ended up looking so cute so we do have some space for some you know gardening for your sims and all of that out there and it's just kind of funny because like <laughs> I I started this build we actually I ended up doing the exterior on stream and then I actually I think I had my mom I can't remember if I was streaming or not but I actually had my mom with me when I decorated the kitchen and we may have actually been on stream because we didn't get very far and it's kind of a thing <laughs> a known thing on the channel when my mom is actually here with us streaming that like we always get really distracted which is a lot of fun but <laughs> we don't always get a ton done when we're building so we got like I think the kitchen done when she was here and then I just basically finished the rest of it just recently and it was just it was a lot of fun to go through and kind of think about like what I would add in here and just kind of pieces of like what I thought they would have and like I actually do end up putting a an office space in here and it is a shared office space um, which actually they do share some office space at home they have a room it's actually my old bedroom <laughs> <laughs> has become mostly my dad's office but my mom also has like a desk in there and because she also has a laptop that she has like in like the living room that kind of just hangs out with her but anyways like <laughs> it's just kind of funny I'm sure like my mom's listening like why are you telling everybody everything about like my house and I'm not it's just you know little details here and there <laughs> <laughs> that are just things that like I think about and I honestly I put so much 
like it's so much out here like seriously like there's so many layers I think it ended up looking so beautiful but it's why it took me so long honestly to make especially the outside because there's just so much here so I feel like a lot of this footage is going to be me actually doing all of the flowers and everything and since we did this back in April I honestly have no clue what this footage looks like like obviously I know what the end result is because I did just like work on it but I don't <laughs> remember the full process for actually making the exterior but it was a whole lot of fun and my link for my twitch channel is down below if you want to come hang out with us as well as the link to my vlog channel if you want to see any of those like any of that old footage and all that kind of good stuff and we have a pretty good time over there I'm trying to get back into streaming since it's been just kind of crazy beginning of the year but hopefully I will be doing that soon especially once I'm done moving which is going to be just like a whole process. <laughs> I think like my office may be the scariest part to move just because I have so much equipment in here. And like, well, it's not that I have so much equipment, it's that it's all hooked up in a very particular way. <laughs> <laughs> so that it all works properly and all that kind of good stuff. So I feel like I'm gonna have to like take pictures of everything before I actually move to make sure I remember how it goes back together. And of course my husband Charles who also like makes an appearance on stream sometimes will help me with that actually. He does a lot of that <laughs> like getting everything set up. So I very much appreciate him for helping me out with all of this. And also since this was on stream this doesn't have my reshade on it. It will later once it's to the portion where I did recently. And I also updated my graphics card kind of in between. I know I've mentioned that in the last couple of videos. It's just because these are, this is just footage that I've had and I just wanted to like, you know, finish them up. So in case you see any kind of visual discrepancies, like that's kind of what's happening here on this timeline for this video. And I also ended up adding some, I think dragonflies and maybe some fireflies as well underneath all of the foliage here. So like you can see them like flying around, which I thought is so cute just because there's so much there, right? It would make sense that you would have like dragonflies and all that kind of stuff just like flying around and it's fun that, that you can place all this and you don't actually have to worry about it in the sims now obviously if this was actually your home I feel like this would take a lot of time to take care of like seriously I it's kind of funny I think I have mentioned it before but I like but in my first house that we had like I really wanted like all of these flowers in the front yard and I was like oh this is gonna be great and <laughs> we planted all these flowers and like they were so hard to take care of <laughs> Like clearly I am not someone who like I am someone who would enjoy having all of this but I'm not someone that would enjoy taking care of all of the flowers you know what I mean and I feel like it takes a special talent too to like actually keep up with all of this like let me know like is this something you enjoy doing like having a bunch of flowers around or even in the house honestly I don't really have any in my home either I've even tried having like a succulent in my house and um no it it didn't make it <laughs> somehow it didn't make it okay so I don't think I meant to have like living flowers I am like or living plants I guess I am much better with like living beings <laughs> like so I just think it's kind of funny like it's just not my thing and I also like ended up putting a swing set out here I can't remember I want to say that this may have been mama spicy's idea in the chat I'm trying to remember since it's been so long but I thought it'd be really cute and romantic like they could go and swing together and stuff like this and obviously this is already up in the sims for gallery under my id spies and sprinkles all one word, all one word all lowercase and down in the description if you want to see it written out it also has the hashtag spice and sprinkles to help you find it um if if the gallery is being the gallery <laughs> and you need like hopefully another way to find it but I just like, and you can download it and use it however you want to. Like, obviously I'm talking like, you know, the inspiration was my parents, but obviously you can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> you can put a family in here. You can have one person, you can do whatever you want. But this was just kind of like the inspiration. And I like to talk about that sometimes because I feel like it's difficult to come up with inspiration sometimes when I build, to be honest. And I feel like recently I've had a little bit of like, um, like a creativity block it just sometimes it's difficult to come up with stuff that you want to do and feel really excited about if that makes sense like I have a ton a ton of build ideas it's just like I need to be inspired to actually do that do you know what I mean because like obviously like all this vegetation and stuff it just takes a long time and I really do enjoy it I just have to be inspired to do that particular build and like hopefully that makes sense and also apologies if I sound a little funny I feel like I've been like like struggling with my allergies recently so <laughs> if I sound a little weird I'm fine just like 
having some sinus issues. I feel like that's just going around now too anyways and I just have bad allergies to begin with. So and also like if you were around I guess several months ago I was having a lot of issues like with my asthma and stuff. Luckily that's gotten a lot better since I started seeing my allergist and all but anyways you don't have to know that but I just I don't know I guess I felt like sharing <laughs> um, that that is going well. So I just you know I'm sounding a little funny I feel like right now at least to myself I am and I just really wanted this to be like have a lot of really nice lighting so at night it looks like really magical you know what I mean like that's the feeling I wanted here and indoors I actually the color scheme is a little bit different than the exterior so the exterior I have all these like purples and yellows and like it's really like pretty bright kind of thing going on. I mean, it's still like bright inside, but I lean more into the warm, some of the more warm wood tones, that kind of thing, just because I feel like maybe that's more of the gist I get from their actual home is that they have some more of those colors, like some of those earthy tones. So I pull some of that in there and I thought it was really cute to have this cute little rocking chair seating area with two little mugs out there for them. Like they could go and hang out and sit together. Like I just thought that was super cute and it's actually really funny. So I made the floor, <laughs> the floor plan or at least some of it and created the kitchen and when I went back recently I was like I don't remember what my plan was like I literally don't remember like what I was going to do so I just kind of had to say well this is what we're going to do <laughs> so it's probably close to what I was originally expecting but it just may not be exactly what I was expecting. And I will say like, I feel like we had a hard time with the kitchen just because, so my mom loves like that deep navy blue and yellow. Like that is her color scheme. Like that would be her ideal kitchen. That and a, like a Tuscan inspired kitchen. Those are kind of her two like favorite kitchen aesthetics. So you can see I'm trying to pull in a lot of that like yellow and blue, honestly. So our, my childhood home. So we lived in a home until I was like, Eight, and then we moved and that first house we had like this like dark navy blue tile counter and my mom really loved it I, I wish there was something in the game that I could have used but we couldn't so we had to pull blue in in other ways so we actually ended up using that blue and yellow floral wallpaper in here and I think that worked out really well and I did this like I feel like my mom like you know, dream kitchen. She would have this like, you know, this built-in bench over here and everything and it would be like super cute. So I did include that. I will say though that the bench itself is not functional. So it has three chairs. Those three chairs are functional, but the bench isn't. But I did want to give it that look if that makes sense. So just as a warning, like <laughs> your sim isn't going to want to sit there, but I wanted it to have that look since that, since that is something that she would really want if she could have it, you know, in her home. And and so I just leaned it a lot into that really pretty yellow and blue wallpaper and I think that helped a lot tying in like what we wanted and then I end up adding like a cupboard over on the side too to have some storage since my mom does actually a lot of entertaining with her friends and stuff so having like that extra space and honestly I feel like I'm doing the same thing like I have a lot of entertaining stuff in my house like <laughs> and like I'm dreading having to move it but it's all good so I need like storage for that but I wanted to have like some plates and all this stuff over there and then for this to be like a tiny itty bitty little mud room kind of thing so having some shoes by that like side kind of back door along with like a coat hook and of course like I think it's funny because I feel like those are really useful like by a driveway or something like that or by or, like in a, through a garage but like we don't really have that in the sims like I feel like though a garage pack would be kind of fun like not necessarily that we would have like functional cars but just like having items like we could build garages because I feel like you know at least in my experience it's you know not uncommon to have a garage you know what I mean or have like a garage slash like you know, workshop kind of, you know, pack or something. It could be a kit or a stuff pack or something, you know what I mean? I just feel like that would be a really cool building like pack, if that makes sense. And like, let me know if there's other packs that you want to see just out of curiosity. I feel like I talk to people and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a genius idea. We need that. <laughs> like, We need that in the game. It's just like, I guess the garage thing was kind of on my mind right now. And of course we do have a fruit bowl in here because Mama Spicy must have a fruit bowl at all times. She actually in her home has a big bowl of they're actually fake lemons um but they stay on the counter basically year round and it's kind of a thing now where 
like every time we visit my husband like hides some of them or takes one and like hides it like at our house or something for her to find it's become it's become like a thing now that like we have like lemons so anyway so we have to have a fruit bowl and what I ended up doing, so I changed around the floor plan just a little bit from, I think, the way it was. And so creating that little, like, space over there is going to be, like, their office area. So it's not completely closed off. I thought that was kind of nice. I mean, real, like, in real life, they have, like, a, a room for that. But, like, here, you know, systems, I kind of liked having it open. And then having that cute little cozy living room here. And I ended up putting some, actually, some of the kitchen cabinets, bringing those in here and putting that next to the fireplace, kind of like a built-in. Because in their actual home, they do have, like, a giant built-in in their living room. They don't have a fireplace. Well, yes, they do. It's off to the side, though. It's not, like, in the middle like this. But I just thought, you know, giving a nod to the, the built-in and just putting that in here. I ended up putting the TV off to the side as well. And I honestly struggled with the curtains a lot here. And I also remember having a big mirror growing up above our fireplace like mantle. So I wanted to be sure to include that, which is part of the reason I ended up not putting the TV there, but instead putting it off to the side, which I, you know, people talk about like having a TV above the fireplace being too tall and I could see how that's true. Like, let me know because our new house actually does have a fireplace in the living room and it has hookups for a TV over the fireplace and I'm wondering if that's really going to be a good idea or if I'm going to want it like next to the fireplace you know what I mean so like let me know in the comments what you like if you've experienced that like which way is better or if you have an opinion I'm curious and I just add in here some like really cute like knickknacks and, and books and things around and just trying to make this really cozy in here and of course adding that mirror I love that mirror so so much it just is so cute and in the office area I actually end up putting like I said both of their desks in there and I end up on my what's supposed to be like my dad's desk I do end up putting the lamp that I <laughs> Like, I have vivid memories of growing up, like, and I feel like it's that classic, like, desk lamp. And then by my mom's desk, I actually end up putting a little cabinet with a bunch of, like, little, like, stuffed animals and stuff on it because, <laughs> um, in case you don't know, if you haven't seen any of my face cam videos or if you haven't seen my stream, I have a bunch of squishmallows and stuff in my office, like, in the background. Like, I, I have a lot of them and I have, like, <laughs> over the past year or so have gifted my mom some, so I thought it'd be cute to have a little, like, cabinet there that had some of those stuffed animals in it because it just felt very, like, you know, realistic for her to have that like I think she may have a few small ones in like her office at home so I just thought I would include that because I just thought that was really cute and funny and so just giving them an adorable little area here and I tried to like you know my dad's kind of a computer guy so I tried to put like extra computer stuff so I got the computer that has like extra monitors and stuff if that makes sense and I did include the pink headphones on my mom's desk because she really does have the like cute like <laughs> kitty pink razor headphones like I have if you've seen those um, or if you've seen them like on other people or if you have them yourself and so I thought that was really cute to include on the desk there and so just trying to find all of the like a lot of the stuff was from like nifty knitting more so than like necessarily the kids stuff which I mean listen, anybody can like a good stuffed animal, okay? You don't have to be a kid to like a stuffed animal. So I just tried to include a bunch of that stuff in here because I thought that was really cute. And then I ended up adding this picture here. It reminds me of a picture <laughs> or a painting, I guess, I made like, well, I made one in college that was like that color block. And then I made something like in middle school that's kind of like a rainbow color block thing. And my mom literally had it framed and like hung it in her office at work. Okay, so like I thought that would be really funny to include that. And and hopefully these personal details aren't like <laughs> too much for y'all. But I wanted to let you know like some of the stuff that I put in here and why I put it in here. Especially if you feel like, like why did you do that? That's why. <laughs> because it really was inspired by like, you know, real people and a real home. Although like I said, this really isn't 
look like their home but you know it's inspired and then I really wanted like an entryway table with a mirror and then just having a place to put your keys down and stuff like that here by the front door I really like having that of course like in the sims it's virtually useless like your sims don't do that but I like it and I included the vase that actually had the citrus fruits in it because I thought that would be really cute and on point for my mom so putting that by the front door and I struggled a little bit over here and this becomes so their bedroom bathroom I actually ended up including a laundry room and I also include a half bath because my mom is super into half baths like you know if you have company they, they can use half bath instead of like your personal bathroom so we definitely included a half bath here and I actually end up swapping it around I make this area the half bath and move the laundry stuff into that bigger area because I figured that would make sense and make a little more sense since like that that bathroom is so big and unnecessarily large especially just for a half bath so I kind of move things around just a little bit and I think it makes a little more sense and their bedroom and bathroom are still really big and like in real life they have a pretty big bathroom which also has like an attached closet and all of this stuff but I didn't necessarily do like the closet in this build but I did include like a luxurious bathtub and stuff like that in their bathroom and I also included like a double sink and I actually really like the way the bathroom turned out. Now this also has been play tested so hopefully you don't have any issues with it. I say hopefully because <laughs> I swear when you down download stuff off the gallery it just kind of does whatever it wants to so hopefully you don't have any issues with it. And also be sure to have bb.move objects on when you download it because I do use that when I build so I don't want you to like have stuff that like disappears or breaks or anything because that wasn't that cheat wasn't put on. And if you're wondering you just like press Control shift c on the keyboard and it'll pop up a little like box at the top of the screen and that's where you would type in that little cheat code and i don't know how it works on console i'm not going to lie since i'm someone who uses the pc to play sims so also if that's something that you know how to do on like console like let me know in the comments in case anybody is curious on how to do that and so i feel like i also need to talk a little bit about what i'm doing <laughs> <laughs> with their like bed built-in thing so when my parents got married they they bought this like <laughs> it's really a giant piece of furniture but it literally it looks like this it has two huge like cabinets on the side it has a cabinet behind like the headboard and it has like a piece across the top it has mirrors on the back and I think actually right now they're not using the mirrors but it did come with mirrors and so they've had that literally my whole life and that's like kind of their wardrobe where they keep like their dresser stuff and so I wanted to kind of build that and like have that in here as well because I thought that'd be really cute and their home right now does have like a really small seating area but I really gave them a nice seating area here with like a fireplace and everything and I feel like I struggled a little bit like figuring out like the rugs and the colors that I wanted to use here I actually ended up using the decor to the max fireplace which is a little bit surprising but I liked it a lot because it was just white and it had like the gold accent on it and I think it blended really well especially with the curtains and I feel like the curtains are definitely something my mom would use. Like, I feel like she might call me after she sees this and be like, no, I hate them. But I'm pretty sure she would like them. <laughs> so I, I did my best and I, I put like two cute little chairs in here so they could hang out by the fireplace. And I did test it. Your sim can like get to the fireplace and light it. I feel like I have issues sometimes when I put like a coffee table or something just a little too close to a fireplace and your sim doesn't want to light it. But those have been tested so you shouldn't have an issue with that. And I end up putting over here, I do finally settle on a cabinet, so don't worry, but I, I went back and forth a lot. I feel like this room was just a little, like the shape was a little bit awkward, to be honest. So I thought about putting like built-in closets and stuff in here, but then I opted not to do that. But it does work out in the end, but it just took me a little while to, <laughs> to kind of get there. And then I wanted to be sure to include some plants and candles. And like, I just really feel like the candles in the game offer a really nice light and like ambiance in a room if that makes sense like that just the light is a little bit different than some of the other lights you know the overhead lights and stuff so I do like to include those when I can so just including here like a little tray with some like cosmetic stuff on it because I just thought that was super cute I do think I also get the eco lifestyle like 
basket I think I put that over there and then over here I just kind of put some stuff like you know Kleenex and reading like kind of stuff they actually keep there <laughs> like kind of like as their nightstand and it really is such a huge piece of furniture um, but I just really wanted to include that here because I just felt like you know it, it worked really well and they don't they don't have a nautical like picture in their bedroom but I don't know I just felt like it fit in the room so we included it and I also made a mistake y'all I lost the footage <laughs> for the bathroom so you can kind of see it it's like done and I'm so sorry about that I literally noticed while I was filming I'd already finished the bathroom and I had paused my recording and forgot I guess to restart it so unfortunately I don't have that footage so I apologize I was literally like you have to be kidding me because I actually like picked up my dog one of my dogs and it was like I had her sitting in my lap and I think I got distracted <laughs> and didn't start the recording again after like I picked her up but anyways just including in here like a beekeeping thing what why can't I remember the name of that thing and just some space to put some plants I do end up putting like some bushes in there because it felt really empty but you can easily delete those to actually plant real things there I just thought it looked nice to have some stuff in there already because it just felt like you know a little bit empty not to have anything there or if you don't actually feel like using it you can just put that stuff there and it looks really nice <laughs> it's like you have a beautiful garden and you didn't have to do anything with it but if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe I would really appreciate it and I hope you have a really sweet day bye everybody so what you feel thanks to sit and scream and when I'm coming home tonight we're living quick in the world gotta get